Hey there, it's Glenn, and in this video, we're going to make ourselves a fretboard. From marking out where the frets need to be, to cutting the fret slots, to installing the frets, to filing them down and dressing them up. All right, let's do this. Here's what I'm going to be using for this project. We have clamps, a fine grit sandpaper, that's 220, a flat file, square, a fret dressing file, some flush cut end snips, but if what you have are side snips, that'd be great too. Uh, anything smaller than this is going to start to make your life a little more difficult than you want it to be. Now from CB Giddy Crafter Supply, I have a mallet, a fret end file, a pull cut saw, a fretting scale template. And then from a box store, I picked up a quarter inch by one and a half inch piece of poplar, uh, which is 6.35 millimeters by 38.1 millimeters. Edit. I forgot to mention one of the most important parts, the fret wire. I buy mine in bulk, medium, medium, from CB Giddy Crafter Supply. You can get it in single packages, enough to do about two fretboards. On this particular fretting scale length template, there are multiple scale lengths, 24 through 25 and a half inches. I'm going to be using the 25 inch scale for this particular build, which is 63.5 centimeters. I'm going to align the nut end of my fretboard with the nut on the template and then carefully one at a time mark out where each fret line is going to be. Using your square transfer each of those lines that you just marked all the way across the fretboard. With your fretboard firmly clamped into place Use your square to butt up against those lines and use your pull cut saw to carefully score and then cut down into the fretboard deep enough so that the teeth are on your fret saw are no longer exposed and that will be a deep enough slot for your frets. Now is the time to sand down your fretboard to get it as smooth as you want it. With your fretboard firmly clamped into place, line up the tang which is on the bottom of your fret wire with your fret slot. Nestle it in there gently and go ahead and use your mallet to tap your fret wire into place. Now go ahead and cut off the excess fret wire as flush to the fretboard as you can. And repeat all the way on down the fretboard. Using your flat file, file the rough ends of the fret flush up against the side of the fretboard. The fret end file is set at the perfect angle so that it gives you a nice bevel at the end of your fret that makes it easy on your fingers when playing. Continue to file away at the ends of the frets until the file itself is brought up close to the fretboard. After all that, here's what your fret's going to look like before we hit it with the dressing file. With this little bugger of a file and its rounded edge down towards the fretboard, use long strokes to file off the ends of these frets. At this point, go ahead and run your fingers up and down the sides of the fretboard. If you find anything still rough, you can go back and file it again. But if you're comfortable with your work, you can use that 220 grit sandpaper to just buff up the sides or the fret ends of the files. Bada bing, there you have it. You're the proud owner of a fretboard. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact me at glennatglennwatt.com. Check out where I celebrate the cigar box guitar at glennwatt.com. And until the next time, see ya.